my name is Mary Grace and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you around my 2015 Volkswagen Beetle convertible that just arrived two days ago. I was going to film this video yesterday, but it was raining and storming literally all day, so that's why I'm doing it today. So a little backstory on the car. My parents and I have been looking for a Beetle with low mileage and at a decent price for about five months. So I finally found this one listed in Texas and the dealer was amazing with working with us and getting it here to us within the week. I have wanted this car since I was like 10 years old and finally 10 years later my wonderful and generous parents have finally made that dream a reality. So I wanted to make this video just to show you around the car um, and show you how everything works just in case you're interested in purchasing one. I'm going to insert some clips first that my mom took when the car arrived of my first reaction. So here's that. Guys, look what just came. <laughs> it's so cute. I'll give you a better tour when it's not raining later, but it just came and we test drove it a little bit. But it's so cute. What is it? <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in the back seat? It's a sister. Oh, get in there. You crank it up. So first off, this is the 1.8 liter turbo engine model. So it runs on gasoline rather than diesel like some of them do. And we got this one with about 51,000 miles on it, but it looks and smells brand new. Things I really love about it is that it has a push to start button. So you have to put your foot on the brake. And there you go. On. It says welcome to your beetle when it first comes on. I really love the body color paint that runs through the entire dash and steering wheel inside. This also comes with the touchscreen radio. Press this, comes on. Really nice. You can preset all your stations on here. You have like two pages of those. And you have all of your media, phone setup, all of that, your CD player, uh, SD card right here. You have all your climate controls here, all really nice and laid out. And down here is where you have your aux, if you don't focus. So in there you have your aux. A lot of people wonder if the speakers are really good in here, and they honestly really are. Those there, you've got one up here. You also have two little speakers on the sides here, and then one over there on the other side. Love some queen. Also, the seats in here are really nice. It's a nice like leatherette seating. So if you spill anything, it's really easy to wipe up. And they're also really comfortable. The thing that I really love is that it has this top glove compartment. And it's not a ton of room, but it's enough that you can put some of your necessities in here. There's another little compartment here in the center. You just open up, you can put like napkins, pencils, pens, whatever you need in here. And you can also lift up the entire thing to have more room. And there's a couple little compartments under there, maybe for change or whatever. One of my favorite features is when you have the lights switched on, all of your brights come on. And then down here you have some interior lighting down there and around that speaker. And you also have some under here. It's hard to see in the day. It's, you can really only see it at night. But you can change right here. You can change the color from red, blue, and then white. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on red and I'll show you. You can sort of see it down there. You can sort of see it change. There you go. Also, you have these reading lights right up by the convertible top lever. So you can just press this. Both lights come on. You just press them in and go off. It's really nice. 
So before I put the top down and show you how all that works, I'm going to get out and show you how it is to get in the back seats. Okay, so getting in the back seats is really not all that difficult. You pull this, this is on the driver and passenger seat. You just pull up like this, and then you can just get right in here, and then you pull this back right in place. Even if the driver wants to pull their seat back a little bit, they would still have a ton of leg room. Back here you also have your cup holder and another charging outlet, which is really convenient. I haven't actually ridden back here yet. I usually ride in the front seat or if my mom and dad want to drive it, but my sister's been back here and she said it's honestly not that cramped, so it's nice. Even with the top up, it's not too cramped. I still have a lot of headroom here, so. Walk around with the top up still. Um, what I really like about this model is that it has the keyless entry. So you just press this to lock it when all the doors are closed and you just do this to unlock it. I'll go ahead and show you how it works with the key outside of the car. So I have the key right here. I'm just gonna hold it near the car. I think it has to be within like three feet of the car. So you're just gonna hold it in your hand and you can just press right here to lock it. And then to unlock it, you just put your hand in and it unlocks it for you. I'll go ahead and show you how big the trunk is. So you just press this in. It's pretty roomy, honestly. I put a bunch of groceries back here once this week before, and it's pretty roomy. I know a lot of people have complained about the visibility through this back window of the convertible top, and honestly, I have not had much trouble with it. Um, I was expecting it to be a lot more blinding than it actually is, but it's honestly quite big for a convertible, and it's glass, it's not plastic, so um, it can really withstand a lot, and I really like it. For your gas cap, it's on the right side instead of the left. You just press in and it comes right up. So it's really easy. Press back in, done. Show you how the convertible top works. And we'll turn the car back on. I'll show you the welcome to my Beetle sign. So cute. I'm just gonna come out to this lever right here and you're just gonna go ahead and push up on this and all your windows are gonna go down and the top goes off just like that so now that the top's down I'm gonna get out and show you what it looks like with the top down so it's really nice and sleek you have a lot of visibility through here and you can also see the sky because it doesn't come up too far over you so there's a lot of room there passengers have a lot more room with the top down obviously and it's really nice because it just folds right down. You don't have to use any manual crank or anything. It just folds right back down here. So yeah, it's really nice, the top down. So now if I want to bring the top up, I just hold this lever and I pull it down instead of pushing up. And it comes right up just like that. Easy as that. Another thing that I really like about the doors is that it has this handle right here that you pull to shut. It's really nice. Also, when your door shuts, it'll clear the convertible top right here by coming down a little bit and then coming back up. You'll hear it when I close it. So it just seals right up there once it closes, which is a really cool feature. Thank you for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it was informational for you if you are considering purchasing a Beetle. Um, it is such a fun car to drive. I absolutely love it. It's so nice now because it's just now starting to be really, really, really warm weather. So it's nice to be able to just have the top down and the breeze blowing through your hair. It's just very, gives you that summertime feeling. I've ordered a lot of cool car accessories like license plate frames and just a lot of stuff for the interior um, essentials and other stuff. So I'll probably do like a, a car decorating video uh, in a couple weeks when all that stuff comes in. I know it's really hard with the pandemic right now. Just um, a lot of businesses are like taking their time shipping stuff. So definitely when all of that comes in, I'll do like a car decoration haul or something fun like that. So if you liked this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here and you wanna see more videos like this or you're excited for my car decoration haul. Um, so yeah, I hope to see you soon and thanks for watching.